Hello everyone, Anthony here once again with episode 10 of creating a modular production ready blockchain from a blank page in Golang. Today I'm gonna utilize a little bit of my time to clean up what we did the previous episode. So let's do uh, git log um, RPC handling processor. So previous episode Previous episode, we made RPC handler and its corresponding processor. And I don't like how tight they are coupled. And what I mean by that is we have an uh, RPC handler. Let's open up server so I can uh, explain a little bit better. Each time that an RPC is coming from uh, our transports, we say RPC handler, handle RPC, and we call it a day. And this function reroutes and calls, basically uh, uh, decodes the RPC into a message, and then calls process transaction, uh, calls uh, its processor. And it's not that bad because processor is an interface, but still, if you create software, if you create applications, you need to make it as decoupled as possible. Because if you want to test this um, RPC handler, we cannot test if it's the, all, it, the only thing that this handler should do is basically decode the RPC into some kind of a decoded message and return it. And then we can use our processor to process that decoded message. And then we have two separate, uh, two separate entities that do uh, their own job, if that makes sense. Let's first drink a little bit coffee. Delicious coffee. And let's get back to work. All right. Let's close this. Um, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? So first of all, where is RPC handler? We're gonna delete this, and we're gonna make an RPC decode func. Uh, yeah, decode func, which is a func uh, RPC gonna return a decoded message and an error. Decoded message struct. Yeah. Okay, so a decoded message is gonna be is gonna hold where it's coming from and the data, which is an N. Why? Don't we use generics? Because we can't. We will never know what's inside data at compile time. So we cannot use generics, if that makes sense. This is not JavaScript. Um, decode func, yes. And then we're gonna delete this and delete this. And then we have our RPC handler, so we're gonna say func default RPC decode func RPC RPC decode message error we can copy everything put it in here but No. And instead of calling our processor, which we don't have, we're gonna say, yeah, we're gonna say return a decoded message, no. And then the data is gonna be RTX, okay? PC is on fire again, thanks to OBS. 
Um, okay. Let's open up server and we're gonna say this is gonna be an RPC decode func. Decodes like this. Oh, and I also want to delete the block time and just use it from options. This is going to be options. RPC. RPC. The code func is going to be default RPC decode funk. What is this? Uh, this block time. And now we're going to say the message and the error is going to be our decode funk. Put in the RPC. Check the errors. Okay, and now we need to call our processor. We don't have it. Uh, RPC processor. RPC processor. Which is our server. Need it, and then you're gonna say if s punt RPC processor is nil, you're gonna say is the server itself. So if we don't have an RPC processor from the server ops, we're gonna assume that our server is a default processor. If don't uh, got anything, uh, any processor, yeah, from the server options, as default, yeah, uh, if we don't got any processor from the server options, we're going to use the server as default, okay. Okay, so one more thing we need to do is have some kind of a routing system. So basically this processor is gonna be super, super, super um, clean because we gonna say it's gonna be decoded message and this can be private because we're going to say uh, server process message message which is a decoded message and it returns an error uh, switch and the jeep and it's going to Switch the MS, MSG pin data type type case corp and transaction return s pint process What the hell am I doing? Process transaction and this is T. You don't need the from. Turn no. Okay. Uh, like I mentioned, if you have questions on certain things, um, please leave a comment, and I will be, and I will respond as soon as possible. Okay. So now we have our message. The only thing we need to do is. Um, Calling our processor, right? Is as punt RPC punt process message 
yeah, message and Lochris error. error. Okay, is this working? Yes, nice. Clean, 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 clean. Happy, happy. I'm happy. Um, yeah, so basically this process message is gonna route uh, everything to its corresponding internal function. So these functions, for example, process block, process transaction, are internal implementations and the RPC processor just needs this. Okay, cool. Is test working? Yeah. Next thing we need to do is, I had some to do in server. Where are we? Yes. Broadcast this takes to peers. So we need to broadcast this to all of our peers. And that's in local transport or in transport. Broadcast is going to be a byte. Okay, local transport. Funk T local transport broadcast uh, payload bytes. So one thing I was thinking is if we send we should make sure that we cannot Send a message to ourselves. Hmm. For peers and uh, deep and peers. Wait, send messages too, right? So this is the peer print address, and then we send the payloads and check the errors. We return the errors. Uh, like this. Let's test this. What the hell, what I'm... Transport test. Yeah. All right, so let's test this real quick. Funk uh, tests broadcast. Testing of T. Yeah, I'm going a little bit faster today because I know this is not the most exciting stuff. I know, I know, but it needs to be done. And it's pretty straightforward. Um, so I really want to go quick so we can starting with uh, creating our blocks. That's something very interesting, right? So that should be more exciting. Uh, TRA, TRB, and maybe I'm actually gonna live stream because now I need to record these videos and upload them and do some shenanigans. And uh, it's maybe better for me to live stream, although I won't have any viewers, but I don't care, but the video will be saved. And then I can basically record for two hours and I don't have any issues on my PC with uploading and cleaning audio and stuff, you know. Yeah, so let's get back. Uh, TRC, we're gonna make three transports. Uh, and we're gonna say TRA uh, connect with TRB uh, 
and we're also going to connect with TRC. And then we're going to broadcast. Uh, wait. We're going to make a message. Uh, foo. Oh. Assert null. Uh, T. No, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, TRA broadcast the message. And then we're going to say RPC from B is going to be uh, TRB consume. Yeah. The bytes and the error. Uh, I yield till read all. RPCB and payload. Um, like this. And we need to do the same thing for. Uh, RPCC, what the hell is going on? RPCC. RPCC. And a matter of fact, we could do, we could make this simpler and say, Okay, cool. Look at this, man. Look at this. We are getting on track. So broadcast is working. Um, and now we need to go back to our server because it needs to broadcast. Process message. Uh, we could place it here. Funk S I don't know how it's just doing some stuff top of my head to be honest. Uh, broadcast uh, and then we're gonna probably loop. PR uh, range. Aspen transports TR broadcast the message or payload. Actually, we need to be consistent in our namings, the things um, payloads. I'm thinking, should we do a go routine for this? Maybe. Okay. And now I want to make some kind of a helper function because uh, in here, where we actually going to broadcast a transaction, we need to encode it for transport. So we could do, could do it here actually. Uh, Server broadcast tx open transaction error bytes buffer if r equals tx code open new uh, yeah buff I'm getting up to speed, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna return the error. And then, I think I'm gonna make a new message, uh, message type TX, and then 
buff wait buff and bites and we can return aspen broadcast uh, message pin bytes. I hope that's clean enough. Um, yeah, I think that's good. And then the only thing we need to do uh, is we could actually do check the error but to be honest we need to put this in its own go routine uh, broadcast tx uh, tx come on missing return hello where Where, what do I miss? 100. Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Look at this VS Go doing. Oh, man. Okay, cool. Uh, make run. It seems that it's working pretty fine. Although we cannot test this because we have only one transport, uh, basically we tested this in uh, local transport test, but our server doesn't have multiple transports yet. And we are not connected with any peers yet. But. Sounds good, sounds good. I'm thinking what the next step is going to be. So let's clean it up. Yeah, I think I'm going to connect multiple nodes to this. So what I'm going to do is um, make the logging a little bit cleaner. So So this is what we already log, that's good. So broadcasting, should we log this? I don't think so. Process message. We could do something like um, logris with fields. Uh, what is this fields? Maybe debug or info. I don't know. Maybe debug is good enough. Uh, received. MSG and from and maybe you can say a uh, type or something I don't know MSG and uh, it's a decoded message yeah it, it. Ay, 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 ay. so I really wanna we don't receive anything so the reason 
I want to log which type of message I'm receiving. The only guy that knows this is... Well, we could basically uh, check, check the data, check the interface, but that's already been done and I don't want to do it again because it's reflection and that hits performance. And you could log here basically and say, you could do it here. So let's uh, delete this. Can I just copy this, please? RPC. Maybe type or header or something. I don't know. I'm going to name this. Um, wait. MSG. New incoming message. <coughs> Excuse me. I should mute, I know, but hey. Nobody's perfect. Um yeah. We cannot test this to be honest, because we, we don't receive any messages, that's the thing. Uh, so what we're gonna do. Uh, do we have time? Maybe, 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 maybe. Um main now the thing is i, I want to do so much things but the problem is it, it will take time and then i'm gonna need to split up this episode again and again and and it's nasty so i need to think ahead so what my intention was to basically create another server and connect them and let them um, exchange exchange messages but it will take a, some more work because basically we also need to check that we don't send to ourselves and such and yeah, it's just, it's just nasty. So I think uh, for cleanup, this episode was basically a small little episode where I changed these things real quick. Uh, because I really want to record every single thing I do with this project. And uh, so I'm basically obligated to record this. Uh, maybe, and maybe so that's why these live streams would be, would be, um, come in handy. Because then I can just, um, yeah, put on the stream and uh, relax without uh, being afraid of cutting those videos into pieces. So just a little recap, um, let's open up this RPC. So we changed the way RPC handlers, uh, which is now a default RPC decode func or an RPC decode func, simple function, takes an RPC, returns decoded message and an error, easy, clean. And that's basically responsible, uh, taking that RPC and um, mapping it to the right message. And then we have our processor, which exactly will take in that decoded message and uh, yeah, just process it. Okay, cool. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.